The world of cryptocurrency has been growing in various ways over the last several years. And the more that people find ways to expand it, the more that people are going to realize the ways they can make money off of it. And right now, one of the biggest things to go and potentially dive into are NFTs. These things sprang up out of nowhere and made a huge splash, making many people rich and others desperate to cash in themselves on things. But now, it appears another major tech giant wants to get in on this. So, allow us to show you how Facebook is looking to weigh in on NFT boom. What is an NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible tokens, and they're a digital type of currency that is usually tied to a digital image or item. And while they may not sound like something that would make people a lot of money, it honestly has. With the catalyst for this new event being one that everyone remembers even now. It was the gavel smack heard around the world. Mike Winkleman made waves in February when he sold through Christie's auction house a gargantuan collage of frequently crass computer crafted sketches for $69.3 million. The moment signaled the apex of a digital collectible craze. On the auction block were non fungible tokens, aka NFTs, coded references to one of a kind virtual goods that are logged on a blockchain. The distributed accounting ledger that underpins cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and, more often, in this case, Ethereum. NFT mania crescended over the past year, like the building to an EDM drop, as prices of the cryptocurrencies to which they're tied soared. Winkleman, who goes by the alias Beeple, or sometimes Beeple crap, represents the apothesis of the trend. But there are plenty of other examples of unbridled exuberance. Musical artists ranging from the rock band Kings of Leon to the R&B pop star The Weeknd have sold limited edition audio tracks for millions of dollars. New York Times columnist Kevin Ruse pawned off an op-ed for $804,354.50. Jack Dorsey, Twitter's founder and chief executive, hawked his first ever tweet, just setting up my Twitter, for $2.9 million. Some of them donated the proceeds to charity. As NFTs have become the latest plaything of the rich and famous, regular investors have sat on the sidelines wondering whether $587,000 for the Nyan cat gif makes any sense whatsoever. Naysayers have also pointed to the massive energy cost of blockchain applications. So yeah, there's a lot going on here, and it's clear that people are going to have various opinions on them. But what's just as important is whether certain companies decide to go all in, if you will, to try and join in on the party, or if they stay away to see if the fad dies out. For one company called Facebook, they apparently see an opportunity and want to literally bank on it. Facebook wants in. Facebook, arguably the most powerful social media platform in the world, is considering integrating NFTs within its crypto wallet product, Novi. In an interview with Bloomberg, David Marcus, the head of Facebook Financial, said the firm was definitely looking at adding support for non-fungible tokens, NFTs, in its wallet product. He added, We're definitely looking at the number of ways to get involved in the NFT space because we think we're in a really good position to do so. According to Marcus, Facebook's plans is to use NFTs with the Novi Crypto Wallet. Facebook designed Novi to support transactions for DM, the stablecoin project previously known as Libra. When you have a good crypto wallet like Novi will be, you also have to think about how to help consumers support NFTs, Marcus said. The Facebook executive also hinted that the Novi wallet would allow users to hold and transact NFTs without revealing specific details. The wallet has been built on a permissioned blockchain network developed by Facebook's team. Demand for NFTs has soared recently during a period that some are calling NFT summer. One of the biggest drivers of the growth is OpenSea, an NFT marketplace built on the Ethereum blockchain. Amid the booming NFT market, the OpenSea platform has registered over $1.5 billion in trading volumes in the last month. 
Other Ethereum-based Web3 wallets, such as MetaMask and Trust Wallet, also allow users to store and send NFTs with each other, though they don't fully sync the assets. Facebook originally designed its wallet for Libra in 2019. It was envisioned as a dollar peg digital asset that could be exchanged across the internet, similar to other tokens like USDC and USDT. Libra received a lot of pushback from regulators worldwide who expressed concerns over its misuse by nefarious entities. Since the tussle with regulators, the company has been slowly moving towards rolling out the stablecoin under a rebranded name, Diem. Facebook's interest in NFTs is being considered welcome news among enthusiasts. But the social networking platform is not the first large tech company to use NFTs. Among the largest American technology companies, Microsoft was the first to adopt NFTs. The IT giant behind the Windows operating system had partnered with Engine to reward its developer community with unique digital collectibles. However, Microsoft's NFT exposure has been limited to its developer community. Several other global firms across, such as Shopify, Atari, Coca-Cola, Budweiser, and Twitter have integrated, released, or purchased their own NFTs in recent months. As an increasing number of global companies look to enter the space, it seems clear that the technology is here to stay. Why this matters in the large scale. While it's certainly interesting to hear that Facebook is interested in doing integration with NFTs, what is the real benefit to this? Well, first and foremost, because the wallet service would be on their platform, and their platform is literally worldwide, you can see the potential here. Facebook would likely go to great lengths to make their integration for NFTs not just easy, but safe to use, distribute, and so on. Plus, with their influence and their large user base, they could potentially draw in more customers for things like NFTs and other cryptocurrencies by just hearing how well the Novi wallet is being used. This kind of influence has been vital in recent years as various people have only gotten into crypto because of their friends' recommendations, for better and for worse. So while Facebook is hardly a perfect platform, it's something that does still have a lot of attention because of people using it all over. Not to mention, if Facebook gets in on the NFT trade, then that might lead to even more big name groups trying to get in on it as well. But will NFTs last? The reason that many are questioning big name companies getting in on this NFT craze is the simple fact that many feel it's nothing more than a fad. Even some who are very much at the center of all things crypto see the risks that something like this brings. In an interview on Bloomberg TV, Coinbase co-founder Fred Ersham drew parallels between the rise of cryptocurrencies and the dot-com boom of the 1990s. I go so far as to say that 90% of NFTs produced, they will probably have little to no value in three to five years, Ersham said. You could say the same thing about early internet companies in the late 90s. To him, NFTs are no different than any other crypto project born out of the hype overnight. People are going to try all sorts of things. There'll be millions and millions of cryptocurrencies and crypto assets, just like there were millions and millions of websites. Most of them won't work, Ersham explained. Ersham began trading Bitcoin around 2010 while working as a foreign exchange trader at Goldman Sachs. He left the investment bank to co-found the cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase with Brian Armstrong in 2012. Ersham parted ways with Armstrong in 2017 and launched Paradigm, a blockchain investment firm in 2018. Coinbase went public earlier this year at a colossal valuation of $100 billion. Its market cap has since shrunk by half as crypto trading cools down amid global regulatory pressure and celebrity-induced sell-off, among other factors. Short-term fluctuation aside, Ersham believes that cryptocurrency is truly the next internet-sized opportunity for the United States. The world doesn't change overnight, but you can see the seeds of exponential growth occurring already, he said in a Bloomberg interview. I do think we will live in a future where, for us to coordinate, we won't need these centralized platforms today. That's already true of financial services in that you can be your own bank. You don't need a central institution to hold your money anymore. 
Only time will tell to see just how right or wrong he is. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at the way that Facebook is trying to get into the NFT world? Do you think that it's wise for them to try and bank on this? Do you think that they're trying to reach out while the iron is hot and not because they think this will be valuable years down the line? What do you think the future of NFTs are? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.